temptations yeah. and fantasies uh-huh. and all kind of things because the mind goes everywhere. Yeah. Do I get yeah. with Hallelujah. Yes. And we have to get control of our mind. Yeah. The battleground is in the mind. And, and let me tell you, do you understand that Satan works through this? This is how he attacked. Yeah, that's it. Because that's how he got Eve. If you go, everything starts in the beginning. He said, Uh have you considered what God said? (laughs) And she said, yes. He said, I shall not eat from the tree. And the midst, she said, neither touch it. God didn't say that. He said, don't eat from the tree that's in the midst of the garden. He said, the day that you do eat it, you shall surely die. But devil said, God has not said that. God knows that Uh the day that you eat it, you'll be wise. Yeah. Knowing good and evil. Which was true. All right. But the whole purpose of it, when you eat the fruit, you wouldn't know how to defend yourself from evil. And, and then you wouldn't know how to do good. That's what God knew. God said, just do not eat of that tree. But the most powerful thing what God has given to mankind is a free will to choose from right and wrong. All right. right. He didn't make us like angels. Angels uh-huh. don't be moved of what God <laughs> tell him them to do. Yeah. So if they go and do that, we got archangels, we got all kind of angels, but they only do the command of what God tells them to do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But we are made in the image of God. Hallelujah. And after his likeness uh-huh. and his character, God tastes, sees, smells, what we can do, we are just like God. All right. right. He made us in his image. Do I get a witness? Right? Yeah. yeah. God made us in. Now look, yeah. if Satan and his demons and his cohorts, his imps, can get a believer church to believe the erroneous, un, this say unbiblical doctrine because the devil is a lie. He twists the scriptures, amen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and, and and he has false assumptions. He can lead you away from the truth to error. All right. He wants to get in your mind. The yes, devil wants to get in your mind, and we know thoughts and stuff through your eye gates, through your ear gates, and smell. Sometimes we can smell the wrong thing. Uh-huh. And mm-hmm. your thoughts can go all right. to the wrong mm-hmm. way. Yeah, Come on now. Smelling is very powerful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. And people do look at that, no, no, you, you, you got people that got bad breath. <laughs> you yeah. got people that got all yeah. kind of things, of uh-huh. pies and all kinds uh-huh. of stuff. smell yeah. you can take your mind somewhere Hallelujah. that you, you, you would ever suspect. You yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Amen. So I believe that yeah. sin... My, uh, uh, I heard it from uh, 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 what's that? Kenneth Hagin. He said, sin can take you further than you want to go, uh-huh. keep you longer than you want to stay, uh-huh. yeah. and at the end, it costs you more than you want to All right, all right, yeah. all right. Sin can oh, take on, you man. further than you want to yeah. go, uh-huh. keep you longer than you want to stay, oh, yeah. Yeah. and at the end, it costs you all yeah. Yeah. than what you want to pay. All sin. right. Sin. Sin. That's yeah. it. And we all have that inside yeah. our life. All right. Amen. But the word says, God, Jesus, let us answer. It is written in Matthew. No, in 1 John 1, 9, that if we confess our sins, uh-huh. he is faithful and just to mm-hmm. forgive us of our sins. All right. He cleanses us from all right. So mm-hmm. You just have to repent. All right. You have a repentant spirit. Yeah. Well, let me get back to the scripture. <laughs> the scripture says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 and 5, it says, Though we walk in the flesh, uh-huh. we do not war yeah. after the flesh. What is this war? This mm-hmm. is not a flesh and blood fight. Uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12 said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, right? Against powers, against rulers of darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, put on the whole armor of God yes. uh-huh, that you may be able to stand against the wow of the devil. All right. He said, Having your uh, heaven have put on, he's having your feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Here, having your uh, having up of the belt, you have to gird up yourself with the belt of righteousness, right? Then he said, put on the breastplate of righteousness, right? Mm-hmm. Then he talk about the faith, the shield of mm-hmm. faith that may be able to quench all the fiery darts of the adversary. Have the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit is the word of God. You got to have the word of God. Amen. You got to have the word of God. I don't care how you try to do it, try to move it. And the book of Proverbs chapter 16, verse 2 to 6 says, The ways of a man or a woman, I say, are clean in their own eyes. But the Lord wears the spirit. 
He said, commit thy works unto the Lord and thou storest. 